What's up guys, Lifting here. This is going to be the first video in a series where I give you guys an indication or some tips of which stats are good on different types of equipment. And in this first video, we are going to discuss boots. And now keep in mind that the stats or properties one wants on his or hers equipment, of course, depends on the build that you're running. But the stats that I'm going to recommend to you here in this video is most likely always going to be either good or useful for your character or valuable to sell to other people. Keep in mind that any rare item can have a total of six affixes, where three of those are prefixes and the remaining three are suffixes. In order to get a really good item, you need the six most attractive or useful affixes that an item can roll. Besides rolling the right affixes, you also want to roll the highest tier of these affixes. And depending on the item level of the item, you're able to roll different tiers of the prefixes and suffixes. In general, you can say that the higher item level, the better tier of the affixes you can roll on the item. So let's get started. As any other equipment, the base type of boots comes in armor, evasion and energy shield base variants. And then in between you have the hybrid armor energy shield, armor evasion and evasion energy shield type of boots. And depending on the base types, different properties can be rolled on the pair of boots. And the main difference of these base types is that they can roll different properties. Armor based boots can roll increases to armor and strength, evasion based boots can roll increases to evasion and dexterity, and energy shield based boots can roll increases to energy shield intelligence and mana. You should know that a pure armor evasion or energy shield based pair of boots can roll the higher of the respective property compared to the hybrid versions. For that same reason most people prefer to either use or buy a pair of non-hybrid boots simply because most people decide to concentrate on only one form of damage mitigation and for those situations pure base types are the better choice. So let's take a look at the prefixes and suffixes a pair of boots can roll. For prefixes you can see that a pair of boots depending on its base type is able to roll Local Armor, Evasion or Energy Shield Rating, then we have Local Armor, Evasion and Energy Shield Rating Percentage Increases, and then we have Local Armor, Evasion and Energy Shield Percentage Increase plus Base Stun Recovery. And then after that we have Increased Item Rarity, Increased Maximum Life and Increased Movement Speed. And once again remember that a pair of Rare Boots can only have uh, 3 prefixes. And the most valuable prefixes on this list is Local Armor Evasion or Energy Shield, Increased Maximum Life and Increased Movement Speed. And that is what most people typically will pay for as well. For suffixes you have the options of rolling additional Strength, Dexterity or Intelligence and once again this depends on the base type of the items. Increased Item Rarity, Life Regeneration, Fire, Cold or Lightning Resistances, Chaos Resistance, reduced attribute requirements and increased stun recovery. And the three most useful or valuable suffixes here are elemental resistances, so again fire, cold or lightning, chaos resistances and added strength, dexterity or intelligence. Each type of elemental resistance requires one suffix slot and that means that you can roll all three elemental resistances on an item and that is what we call tri res items and those are typically worth a lot if they're paired with the right type of prefixes. So an ideal pair of boots would therefore consist of the following prefix and suffixes. Increased armor, evasion or energy shield, increased maximum life and increased movement speed. So that's the three good prefixes we want to roll. And then we have the three good suffix rolls that we want. So that would be fire resistance, cold resistance and lightning resistance. Let me give you another example of a valuable pair of boots. We have the same prefixes here, but we have different suffix rolls. And as you can see, while these pair of boots doesn't have all three elemental resistances, they do instead offer chaos resistances or added attribute stats, which can be very useful for certain builds. And now let's say your character is using chaos inoculation, then you obviously don't want to roll life as a prefix on your boots. An ideal pair of boots would instead look something like this. Increased energy shield, increased flat energy shield, increased movement speed and fire resistance, cold or lightning resistance. Or if you were to go dual resistances, you could have something like chaos resistances or added attribute stats. And another thing to keep in mind is that an item does not always necessarily need to have six properties or affixes in order to be good. 
Having a pair of boots with life, movement speed and dual rest usually sells pretty easily as well, depending on the tier roles of the affixes. If an item has room for an additional prefix or suffix role, people sometimes use an exalt orb in the hopes of getting that last good suffix or prefix role. And lastly, let me show you a few examples of boots on PoE trade that I consider valuable items. And as you can see, we have armor based boots, we have evasion based boots, and we have the hybrid evasion energy shield based boots here. All of these boots have rolled tri resistances along with the prefixes that we want. So increased evasion, armor, or energy shield, along with movement speed and increased maximum life. Another example is these pair of boots. As you can see here, they again have the prefixes that we want, so life, armor, and movement speed. But in this case, they have dual resistances, but they also have added stats, and in this case, it is strength. And this is because the base type is armor. And while I would like to give you an answer as to how much you should sell your boots for, I really can't. Just keep in mind that any pair of boots with movement speed, life, and at least dual resistance rolls usually sells pretty easily. How much they sell for depends on how good the tier rolls of the affixes are. And prices can vary anywhere from a few chaos orbs to a couple hundred exalts. And now I will leave a link to poemods.com in the description of the video. In here you can look up the specific item types and see what kind of affixes it can roll and what item level they require to get good tier rolls. And I would suggest you familiarize yourself with this website, it's very helpful. Anyway guys, I hope you found this useful in the next video in this series we're taking a look at gloves thank you for watching and bros do you even nerd